breaking news, a wildfire in the gorge just east of the Dalles, burning hot and fast and sending up a lot of black smoke. We begin with K2 team coverage. Meteorologist Dave Selesky tracking the weather conditions for the fire fight. Let's begin with K2's Hillary Lake live in Biggs Junctions for us now. What's the very latest from where you are, Hillary? Well, guys, the biggest challenge for fire crews right now is the wind. It is so windy out here, I almost can't keep my hat on. We're actually a couple of miles east of Biggs Junction where the fire started, and it's still burning tonight. It has left a two and a half mile trail. It started around two o'clock this afternoon in an abandoned motel or apartment building. A fire department spokeswoman told me the state fire marshal is on their way here to start an investigation. Biggs Junction has no power this evening. So far, two homes have burned, a handful more are available. Evacuated. There are 40 firefighters working this from four nearby counties. As of right now, there are no other crews on the way. Crews here believe they can handle it. The town of Rufus, just a few miles further east from where we are, has not been evacuated yet. If that happens, those will be done door to door. Now we're on Old Highway 30. It is closed right now because there are some boulders in the road uh, further east from where we are. And fire crews expect to be here working on this throughout the night. Live in the Gorge, Hillary Lake, K2 News. Hillary, thank you. Let's turn now to Chief Meteorologist Dave Selesky in the Weather Center. And Dave, you are tracking the very latest fire conditions. What are you seeing? We have that red flag warning up right now from the Gorge all the way east, the entire width of the Columbia Basin and much of central Oregon. And that's going to be. In place now tonight and all the way through Friday. So we're not going to see much change or much improvement in the fire weather conditions on the east side of the Cascades. By critical fire weather, we're talking high temperatures, and we have that. You could hear the wind blowing over Hillary's live show. We're seeing winds are out of the west at about 30, 35 miles an hour at this time, and very low humidity as well. So here's what we're talking about. Wind speeds right now in the Dalles are out of the northwest about 34 miles an hour. Let's zoom on in right along I-84. And they were going to drop you down into the Biggs Junction area. And as you can see, they're now seeing west winds there, 25 miles an hour, gusts to 30 miles an hour. This is the latest shot we have in about half an hour ago of that fire sent by one of our viewers looking across the Columbia River. And notice how the smoke is just laying down being kept there because we don't have much, or we've got an awful lot of wind right there, so that smoke is not allowed to rise up vertically. It just falls flat and parallels right along I-84. And as you can see in the foreground there, very dry conditions on the east side of the Cascades. And that likely not going to be changing anytime soon. Back to you guys. David, thank you. Also, firefighters in Clackamas County are battling another blaze tonight. These are pictures from our viewers, and you can see this is a brush fire. We're told it's not threatening any structures. So last we saw it was climbing up the hill. It has closed part of 99E, and of course, that commute has been affected by that for several hours now. And stay with K2 News as we keep you up to the minute on the wildfire situation this summer in between our newscasts. Look for updates online, Facebook, and Twitter, and follow the hashtag live on K2.